What is up my clan? Welcome to my video blogging anniversary. That's right, 13 years ago today, October 23rd, 2006, I uploaded my very first video blog and it was a talking head video just like this. I was using my old non-HD, this is before HD, Canon XL2, my movie camera that I was shooting movies with. I shot my first video blog, basically announcing that I was going to start video blogging. Prior to that, I had posted my movie trailers, my music videos, and any of my kind of video work that I had been doing on YouTube. And that, that's what it, what it was. It was a place just to share videos. Video blogging was a very new, uh, you know, medium. Traditionally, talking to a webcam or a camcorder, that sort of thing, just like this. And then when pocket cameras, you know, point and shoot cameras started doing digital and doing video, then people started taking them on the go and they were able to capture video outside of the house, outside of your office. And that's what I, that's what I, that's how I started. I started with traditional camcorder video or webcam video like this. And then that evolved into when I traveled and went to conferences, I would capture those moments and just make short little videos, right? And you know, sometimes it'd be four or five videos from the same day. It was just like, this was this moment, this was this moment. Fast forward a few years later and I started video blogging with my iPhone. iPhone started shooting video, HD video, and I would shoot little videos with my iPhone. Sometimes one takes and I just upload. Sometimes I would take it back and edit it, but that's kind of how it started. And then when we found out we were having uh, Bryce, you know, baby number two, we started. I started doing life updates, baby updates, and I started doing cute little videos with the babies and the cute and the kids. Um, and then the daily life genre started kind of becoming a thing. Daily life became a you know a, a genre of. Of, of, of YouTubing and you know guys like Shay, the Shaytards and TTFXC started doing daily life vlogs where they took video of their entire day and then made a short little video out of it and put it on YouTube. And back then that's the only place you really could do that was YouTube. 2006, 2007, Twitter, Facebook started kind of popping up. I think 2008 when Instagram started, uh, started it, 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 it popped up. But even then it was very, it was just, just pictures, right? It was very um, old school and very limited. Um, even live streaming was very limited to a couple different places and you had to use like the web browser. It was very bad quality and that sort of thing. So YouTube was the place to share long form video and the daily life genre was born. And so I started doing daily life vlogs. And when I started, the kids were six and four, right? Those are fun ages. Those are those are cute little kids saying goofy things and you know, they're easily entertained with a ball or a car, you know, or we can go walk to the park and just play at the park for you know, 30 minutes to an hour and they're, they're happy with the swings and the slide and, you know, playing tag, right? And that's, that was the fun, entertaining stuff that you, most, a lot of you guys fell in love with. You fell in love with the cute kids doing cute things. You know, we saw some great success with the channel and over the course of a couple of years, I was able to quit my job and go full time with my YouTube and with making a business out of this. And that's what I did. Almost five years ago, I quit my job and this became my job. But with that, I had more time on my hands to not only devote to the vlogs, but start experimenting and doing other things. Um, I was doing two live streams a week on this channel. Um, I do one in the morning, I do one in the evening, and it was just live Q and A's, live chats, where I was just sitting in front of the camera talking to a chat room, very similar to what I do on Twitch now. I started experimenting with that, and then when YouTube Gaming got announced, I started doing the video game live streams on my Clintus Games channel. and. That's when it really kind of hit me that I really love live. I, when I posted YouTube videos, even before that, when I did my blog posts, I loved the comments. I loved the interaction. I loved hearing people's feedback and response to things and having conversations, whether it was, you know, it's back and forth in the comment section. But with live, it's in real time. It's like we're really having a conversation. Even though I'm the only one on video, we're having a conversation. And I fell in love with that. I did two years, almost two years on YouTube gaming, and now I've done two and a half years on Twitch. And I have to say, it is my favorite thing to do. I love being in this chair, whether I'm playing video games or I'm just talking to the camera like this, it is my favorite thing to do. And because of that, and because of other things with YouTube and the platform and my channel specifically, all of these things together has kind of changed my perspective and changed where I put my energy and my time. Uh, let's be honest. The last couple of years, the channel has in a, been in a crazy decline um, for various reasons. One, YouTube made some big changes in 2017 to how videos were recommended that hurt my channel. Um, then 2018, we had the big ad apocalypse and demonetization. Um, and then last, this last year, this, this year, 2019, I lost my comments and got demonetized again. The channel is just in a really bad place and I don't wanna start over. Everyone says I should start a new channel. Realistically, the best thing for me to do is to start a new channel. But I don't wanna do that. I have over 3,000 videos. It's 13 years old. My, my, the, my last 13 years of my life is on this channel. And you know, I got a silver play button right there. I'd love to have a gold play button one day. I don't wanna start over. 
And even though that's probably the smart thing for me to do, and if YouTube was my only job, my only business, my only revenue stream, I probably would do something crazy like that. I started a new channel and, and pivoting, um, but it's not. It's not. I diversified a couple of years ago because I saw the writing on the wall. I saw that YouTube was in a decline, um, and now I have multiple streams of revenue. I have multiple uh, pieces of content that I create. I do podcasting. I, I, I live stream. I have partners and, and brands that I work with on a regular basis. And so I'm not too worried about the YouTube piece. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to evolve and keep changing. But at the end of the day, it's called Clintus TV. This is my channel. This is where I grew up. It's where we grew up. It's where it all started and I don't want to start over. So I don't plan on starting over. I don't plan on creating a new channel. It is what it is and the channel will continue to evolve with me. But let's talk about today, right? That was That's, that's the past. Let's talk about today. In 2006, 2008, even let's just say even uh, 2012, YouTube was still the place to share video, the main place, especially long form. The daily life genre was exploding. It was a main thing. Today, we have tons of apps on our phone that allow us to capture moments and share them in real time, right? You have Snapchat stories, you have Instagram stories, technically you have Facebook stories. Um, we have Twitter, which allows you to do text, photos, and video, even live. You can go live from your phone on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, right? It, it, and so, it, and, and we have this with us at all times, right? We have this phone at all times, it's quick to pull out and with a quick, to touch of a button, you're able to share this moment. And I would argue that most people actually prefer the bite-sized content, right? You pull up Instagram, you see the circles at the top, you click on a face, you're able to watch stories, short little bursts in, in succession and consume that content at your leisure. You know that it's only there for 24 hours, but you know, you do it throughout the day, you're able to catch up. Whereas a YouTube video now seems like archaic. Who wants to sit down and watch a 15 minute video? Right? So I would argue that one of the reasons why the daily life genre has died on YouTube, in, in the traditional sense, it's died on YouTube because two things. One, we have these platforms now that allow us to share bite-sized moments of our life in real time, right? I don't know how many people I watch on a regular basis on Instagram and it's basically like a vlog. I've, I just watched their day on Instagram in stories as, and if, if you they were to push that all together and put it on YouTube, that'd be a daily vlog but they do it on Instagram because it's easy and it's convenient. That's the one thing. The second thing is, is because the, over the last couple of years, people like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, Sean Duras has changed the way vlogging is now, right? It's much more cinematic. It's much more entertaining. It's much more like a movie rather than a home, like this is what happened today. This is, they made a movie. It just happens to be encapsulated around that day or that part of their day, right? Even if you watch like Casey Neistat, very rarely is it morning, noon, and night. It's usually one part of the other. With that being said, YouTube has shifted considerably in the last couple of years to be more like TV. They're, do, they're making some big changes with censorship, with ad revenue, monetization, demonetization, and even features to be more like TV. They really, and I mean, to be honest, they're already there. My kids don't watch TV, they watch YouTube. And I think most kids of all ages are in the same boat because you can hand them this device or a tablet and they can watch YouTube and that's their entertainment. So YouTube is really trying to shift that. So if you make really entertaining content, you're winning. I have a lot of colleagues and friends that have shifted and pivoted to more entertaining content and they're and they're killing it. They're killing it. They stopped vlogging or they've altered their vlogs where their titles and thumbnails are like challenges and more of like, you know, the tagline, like what's popular and what's trending. And they're riding those waves and seeing huge success. It's, it's fantastic. I'm happy for them. I really am. That's just not something for me. I've never wanted to be an entertainer. I've always just wanted to share my thoughts, my ideas, my life, and then talk about it and and ha show comparisons and, and relate, be relatable. That's what I've always wanted to do. And unfortunately, that's not popular anymore on YouTube. It's not something that is killing it. And honestly, if you really look, what vloggers are really killing it, right? And, and if you really just look at who is killing it right now in the video blogging space, it's people with little kids, right? Because those are just, they're just fun and entertaining to watch and they do fun and exciting things. Families or, or people are doing the challenges and every vlog has like a shtick to it that, that 
that's the that's the shtick of the video. It just happens to be in their day, right? Or the ones that are outlandish, they're traveling, they're they're doing crazy and amazing things, which isn't really normal everyday life. So again, the three things that are that are killing it, I don't fit in any of those boxes. That's kind of where we've been we've, we've been kind of getting to. I've talked about this numerous times on my live streams and on my podcast. I really don't want to talk about it anymore. I felt like this today was a great day to kind of talk about this one last time and kind of close that book because I'm just I feel like I'm getting YouTube fatigued. I know a lot of you guys are as well, hearing me repeat myself numerous times. That's where we've been. This is where we're at. Let's talk about where we're going. So I've made changes to the channel numerous times, daily, non-daily, doing challenges, doing very hyper-focused videos where we're just, you know, it's not the whole day, it's just this, just basketball, just dirt bike riding, that sort of thing. I even bought a new camera and this bought this rig to try and be more creative and that was fun for about a week or two and then that kind of wore off. So I still haven't found my thing yet. All I can promise is that I'm gonna continue capturing my life and capturing my moments, capturing the exciting things that my kids are experiencing. Um, more so more so now that for me and for, for Tiffany and for my kids. Going back and watching old videos, Tiffany, Sierra does it all the time. Her and Reagan will be up in their, you know, in the room and they'll watch old videos. And so I don't wanna stop that for that reason alone. I'm never gonna stop vlogging. I've said that numerous times, I'll continue to say it, I'll never stop video blogging. I'm just gonna change the way that I video blog and the frequency in which I post to YouTube will continue to change. Right now we're about two vlogs a week. I could see that going to one vlog a week. I could see it going to, instead of being a, a full day or a full week, here's just one moment. Here's a two minute video of this one moment that happened and kind of go back to my roots. Do more talking head videos like this. Do more one shots with my phone. I kind of just gonna not worry too much about it and just be free, be try to be creative, but at the end of the day, just do what feels natural and feels right, and let the chips fall where they may, so to speak. So this week, you're gonna get uh, this week's vlog probably in two days from now, two days from the day this is posted. After that, every other day, you'll probably get a new video. We have a couple sponsor videos that, uh, that are gonna be going up, uh, a new VR video. And then once we're kind of all caught up, plan on making some tweaks, making some changes. Uh, once again, taking a different stab at the vlogging. We'll just see how it goes. We'll see how I feel. And then of course, I'll be looking for your feedback in Discord, on Twitter, Instagram, all the links down in the description below, how to contact me. Let me know what your thoughts are. That's it. Happy anniversary. As always, thank you very much for your time, your attention, I do appreciate it. We have some very loyal, loyal viewers and, and audience members that I absolutely adore. Um, it's great to talk to you guys on Twitch, live in the chat room, um, DMs on Instagram, even emails. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And uh, honestly, it's one of the big things that continues to drive me on various platforms. YouTube is not the only thing too. That's the other thing I wanna point out. As I mentioned, YouTube is no longer the only place. Some people stop watching my vlogs on YouTube because they watch my stories on Instagram or because they watch me on Twitch and they don't feel the need to watch the YouTube videos anymore. So all in all, thank you for giving me your attention wherever you give it, I appreciate it. And we will continue to vlog on here on the YouTube channel. Thank you. <laughs>